Hey everyone. So we're back in the fish cave today. And what we're going to discuss is what we call in kayak fishing catch, photo, and release or CPR. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me how we take our fish and either measure them or weigh them in a kayak. I said, well, we, we work off measurements to help conservation on the fish. Um, I used to fish the, the bass boat world and I still know people who do. Um, and when I got into kayak fishing I was like, heck, this is a this is a better idea than catching five fish, riding around all day on the lake, and just putting a lot of stress on the fish and then you take them and release them from the boat ramp um, and I was actually watching some of the uh, the elite series on YouTube and these guys were catching bed and fish and I was like okay you're gonna take this bed fish that's bedding ride it around in a, in a live well all day long take it to a boat ramp get it weighed and then they're gonna take them and turn them loose somewhere else in the lake away from their bed. So CPR is a great way for conservation on, on any fish. I don't care if it's bass, redfish, trout, or anything um, like that. So with that being said, the product I use is a catch board made by Catch. Uh, it is metal. Uh, this is a 26 inch board. Uh, it has a bump on one side and what I've done I've put my my logo sticker right here on the bump so as, as a tournament director sometimes it gets hard to see if that fish is bumped on the uh, on the bump itself and or if the mouth is shut all the way uh, so I know that Catch has done some some modifications to their boards. I think they've put some line increments on this bump now to help with um, the mouth being shut and things like that. As far as uh, I know, I know some clubs uh, allow uh, their fish to be a quarter inch, their their mouth to be open a quarter inch. So I, I think they've put quarter inch increments on this as a so CPR is a great way to. Uh, for every type of bass fishing. I, I think we need to discuss this in more lengthy sessions with some other anglers throughout the world is will BASS and um, some other series that fish the big bass boat world, not the kayak series, but the bass boat world Will they eventually go to a catch photo and release just to help the conservation and the and the stress on the on the fish itself? Um, back to kayak fishing. So these things are pretty heavy. These metal boards are pretty heavy. Uh, these things will sink. Um, so make sure you have it attached to your kayak somehow. So if this thing falls overboard, you can retrieve it. Uh, I've made a paracord type leash that connects to my seat underneath my seat and then this connects by a buckle. Uh, secondly in catch photo and release uh, most most kayak tournaments on the series now got to have an identifier this is an identifier card. Um, I made a modification to mine um, since all fish have to be 12 inches in our tournaments I've kind of took this thing and put me a little small machine bolt right there so it so this, this identifier don't slide and that your identifier is always in the picture. Uh, because if you start measuring big fish and your identifier gets back here somehow, sometimes I've seen pictures taken where a half, a, half a card identifier is missing or, you know, it's just when you, when you get longer fish on these boards, it, it just tends to get hard to get the identifier in the right place. So 
I just stick mine somewhere around the five to six inch mark. Um, and it stays right there with that machine, that machine bolt. Um, there's some other boards out there. Uh, I started off with a hog trough, which is a plastic series board. Um, I know our club actually still uses them. Uh, catch board has these metal ones and a carbonite board. Uh, the carbonite boards are more of a like a machined plastic. Um, I'll leave all the descriptions and everything down below for the catch. Uh, I'll leave their website down below. I'm, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I just believe in their product. They make they they uh, it's all U.S. made product, um, and that's what I use for my catch photo and release tournaments. Uh, just that hog trough. I broke one, <laughs> and uh, I just decided to get to the metal because the metal just holds up well. Um, like I said, I'm not affiliated with Catch in any way. Um, just believe in their product, and it's a USA made product. So, thank you for watching on the Catch Photo and Release. Uh, also, I've got an article on my blog over at SEGKBF.com. That's SEGKBF.com. Um, you can read it. I've, I've, I've written up a little catch photo and release blog on it. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and make sure you like the video. Leave a comment below. Um, just give me a, just leave me a comment of what videos y'all want to see. I, you know, I'll, I'll do any type of video there is as far as fishing wise. Um. If y'all want to see something other than bass fishing, uh, we have some great rivers around here that have the, some of the best uh, red breast fishing. According, according to me, is some of the best red breast fishing there is in, in this in this area. The Ogeechee River, the Canoochee River, the Hoopy River. Um, there's some bigger rivers like the Savannah River, the Ottawa Hall. Uh, I don't, I don't typically put a kayak in them two rivers which is because they're so huge and a lot of boats run up and down them rivers um, so most likely we'll probably do some once it gets later summer um, we'll probably do some red breast fishing red breast videos just to just to kind of show show everybody what we have as a resource here in southeast Georgia um, and also you can go visit the Georgia DNR website as well. It gives you a lot of places to fish. Gives all their access to the boat ramps on them rivers, ponds, PFAs, uh, lakes, everything like that. So just make sure you subscribe to, to the YouTube channel. And uh, thank you for watching.